This area between the two boards is what the video is about. Between the black mark and the joint of the board there are no sensors, no pickup. John Walsh has a procedure that you can move the template and edit in this joint area and I'm going to show that. So here I've laid out the pattern and as you can see those red marks, the four red marks, they are the null area. In the center of those marks is the null area and we'll digitize that separately. I've loaded up the Jumbo software and I like to go through the confirmation I call it verifying the two tablets make sure they're working okay. You just go next 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 until you get to the tablet test. Test tablet 1 and test tablet 2. When you finish that just exit the program. If the tablets don't verify this is the time to reboot the computer. I've loaded up the Jumbo software again and now we're going to go through that verification of the two points on the diagram. This is where the Jumbo software asks you to do two reference points, one on the left side and one on the right side of the diagram. Now we begin our tracing process. I selected lines and arcs. As you can see, I'm just following along the diagram, touching various spots, and I also check the computer to make sure it's okay. As I always say, if you're not happy with the diagram, stop it, cancel it, and redo it. It's simple. So now we're coming up to the null area and you'll notice that the trace is just straight, right straight across. Yet the diagram has some intricate changes right there. Now we're going to get into the circle command where you touch the circle in three spots and the computer will echo back the reading and you put in the proper radius. So I just carried on, did all the circles and put in the proper radius or diameter. Each circle function is a separate job. Once you do the three points and the computer echoes back the reading, you select done and then you go to the next one. Under the file heading, we should now save this file. We'll call it Wing 2. Saving this file is the file that we're going to need to do the edit portion over the joint. So we start with the clear jumbo screen and we open that file, the wing 2, and we open it with alignment. Now we need to take our diagram and move it way over on the left side to get away from that joint. Now we're going to open our file and the computer is going to ask us for those two reference points again. So again, we mark the two new reference points on the board. The left and the right side. We then select edit, toggle, edit portion and we start to edit that section that we missed over the joint. Once you select edit portion all you're doing is editing that portion that you've moved and is not over the joint now. So you redraw that section that you missed and then you save it. The programs asks if you're happy with the trace if you say you're not, then redo it. It's important to follow the procedure. You select Edit, Toggle, and Edit the Portion. Again, the computer will ask if the edit is OK. Once complete, then we can save this file. This time we save it as a DXF file. I'm going to use Vetric Aspire 9.0 to check the quality of my diagram, possibly edit it if required, load it into the program, and create a toolpath. I'll also run the simulator to show how the part looks. I find this amazing because we've edited the portion over the null point between the two boards, we've moved it, and we've redrawn it and it was a complex part of the diagram. And it's perfect. The next step now is to cut the piece out on the CNC. The CNC is set up with a quarter inch carbide end mill running at about 60 inches per minute 
at about 19,000 RPM on the router. It's just cutting quarter inch plywood. Pretty straightforward cut. Took about 10 minutes maybe, 12 minutes. Had to pause it a few times, I forgot to turn on the dust extraction. That's why there's so much sawdust all over the table. This really shows John Walsh's software to enable that joint between the two boards to be re-edited and a diagram to be digitized that's quite complicated. I find it amazing. Just for an experiment, I put the part back on the drawing table and as you can see, the part lines up with the diagram perfectly.